Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're not new because of all this support I've been having by you amazing people, thank you so much. Um, just welcome to everyone. Um, to the people that join from Facebook and from my post, thank you really, thank you very much, you've given me a giant boost to carry on making these videos um, and try harder to make them better, so thank you very much. So in today's video I'm just going to give a bit of an update and now that people are watching I want to let you know a bit more about who I am. So we'll start off with an update and I'll end off with you with just letting you guys know who I am like I said. So here I've already harvested four full grown peas. This one I might leave a bit longer but they're coming on. This one, small one there. Um, there's a few more in there, itsy bitsy ones. Um, tiny one there. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the Three Sisters method, but that's what I'm going to use. So I put corn here. So it might, looks like grass almost, but it's corn. Um, so I've got one, two, three four, five, five there, oh, there's another, another pea bean, I don't know, um, along with the fennel beside it, and I did a big harvest of my lettuce, and it's just starting to come back a bit, and this one's going really tall, so it's not going to last much longer, I don't reckon. I reckon I might get one or two more harvests out of it, maybe a few more, but I don't mind that, it's all good. Um, broccoli getting quite big, and I'm really happy to see this um, banana plant. So it's got one, two, three, four leaves on it, and this one coming up, wow that's big, so beautiful really cool yeah um carrots coming in nicely too which is really cool i'm happy about that um i need to take out a few so this is just called thinning them out so if i take them out and it lets the carrot, so less competition. Um, curly leaf kale getting quite big. There's more over here doing quite well. I think I'll show you the one I've got doing best. This is pretty good, but I'll show you the one I've got doing best. Is, I think it's either, it'd have to be either this one, three options, this one, this one, nice and curly as the name suggests, or this one, a nice dusty colour. Um, nasturtiums doing well, I've learned that nasturtiums love our garden, so I have to get more of those. The weeds are coming up here, I put some leaves down for now, I'm going to get some more mulch and more nasturtium seeds and then hopefully they'll take over the weeds because they grow like wildfire um tomato getting big sunflower getting big i've heard that they like being planted near each other um this pig face succulent native succulent hidden under these leaves doing really well i love these because the juice, so let's find a leaf that I don't mind taking off. Let's say this one. 
So this juice, right? So let's show you. That juice that just came out can be used to help rashes. You can rub it into your hands. Drop that bit and rub the liquid into your hands. It can get rid of rashes and help sunburns, all sorts of things. And it's edible. It gives you like a salty tasting, but hydrating thing to, I suppose you'd say drink. Um, Grevillea doing nicely, very, very nicely. One, two, three, down here, four, and a bud there. Here's the rainbow lorikeets. Um, potatoes, wow, doing so well, growing so quickly. Oh my god. Um, it went quicker than the one in England, I think. And, um, so my main thanks is to, um, the weedy the weedy garden guy so he's been really boosting me i've been watching his videos so a big big shout out to him been watching his videos loads um and also yeah he's really inspired me and i've even i've made this mix so it's like um it's not the same i suppose you call it a recipe it's not the same recipe to his, um, what does he call it? It's like a bacteria filled, like good bacteria filled fluid, um, plant food that you make from home. So you use things like milk and chicken poo and all that stuff that the plants love and leave it in a not super airtight container so I've just left the lid slightly open so it can still dri drip out a bit so I've got to be quite careful so I'm just placing it there next to my banana tree where it's going to go because it doesn't get very it doesn't get loads of sun here so it doesn't get too hot for it which he said is good and also it's nice and dry no nothing will leak in I'm just going to open the lid and have a look actually it's been two or three days, I think. I think two. All right. So not too much of a smell, to be honest. Um, and so far, it just looks sort of like a watery milk, to be honest. Um, but we'll see. David, um, weedy garden guy, said to leave it for at least seven days so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take the extra take an extra two days so this guy's got seven more days to go wish me luck okay now I'm gonna let you guys know a bit more about me